Right, the other thing that people really, really liked were these uh, tool tubes. Um, that's 500 millimetres long, uh, half a metre long, um, and it's, there's enough space in there to just hold a whole load of stuff, um, which I went through in, in, the, in my kit rundown. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going um, to, I need to, I need to replace one of the P-clips, so I bought a pack of 10, 10 P-clips here, um, and uh, I'll just show you those, in case you don't know what a P-clip is. Um, so that's a, that's a P-clip, oh, letter P, B. Um, and um, so that's just a pack of 10 I bought off eBay. I tried to look for strong ones, I'm not sure how strong these are, they don't look ever so thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on just one more of, um, of these pipe clips and um, this should fit hopefully perfectly just about here and the reason is that they were they were kind of slipping or at least the other one was slipping forward and bashing into the um the um the chain guard so i'm planning on putting an extra one of those there in the hope that i can attach it it should all work to attach it just here to the frame um my concern is how close the inside that's going to be to the to the um, to the wheel as the suspension compresses, but I think it's all right looking at it. I'll have a look later. Um, right, so it'll end up with three of these pipe clips, one, two, three, um, and uh, I'll show you. But as I'm going to take the other one apart, and um, what I did to try and make these neat was firstly I wanted it in parallel to the um, to the exhaust pipe, and so it ends up looking a bit like um, a bit like a sort of exhaust type thing. And most people who don't know the Himalayan that well, even people that know motorbikes, don't realise that this isn't part of the bike. So, um, you know, that helps hopefully prevent prevent theft from, from the contents. I mean, they're not worth fortune, but I've got a lot of tools in there, um, as you'll have seen in the kit rundown. I'm not going to go through that again. Link's up there if you want to know what I keep inside them. Okay, first of all, um, this is just the, uh, the the wheel spanner that comes with the with the Himalayan and it turns out it's exactly exactly the right size for this nut this is just a plumbing nut of some sort that I had knocking around in the garage um, and uh, what it comes with is a like a giant wing nut that, that but I figured that would be too easy for somebody to just come along and open and it's too obvious whereas just a nut is more like a just looks like a part of the bike um, obviously when these are new they're a lot more shiny they're getting a bit old now um, and I probably need to replace them and these are called uh, inspection caps um, I think um, I'll, I'll put a link anyway down in the bottom but this just fits on there and it's a compression fit so I'm just gonna a few turns of this you can do it with the pannier on but it's a bit easier with the pannier off just have to do it from underneath if the pannier's on once I've done a few turns I can then just put that on there and give it a little tug and out it comes I'll just show you this So the way it works is, I'll take this nut fully off, you've got, that's how shiny it is on the outside when you first get it, um, so um, you've got a bottom bit, this rubber sort of donut shape, um, and then a top bit with a hole in, and then you've got this threaded tube, unfortunately the threaded tube does have a hole all the way through the middle of it, um, which, um, which is why I've put... Um, put this this little end cap on it did have a rubber seal inside it I don't know where that's gone I'm surprised for it not to be there but anyway I've not really had any significant more to get in um, but it'd be, be better to have the rubber seal on the end um, when you buy it this is ridiculously long it's about this long so obviously I cut it down um, and that I think um, you know those hoses that go on uh, washing machines and, and things like that I think that's the same thread as that um, I just found it in my plumbing drawer and it fits so. Right, okay, um, put the top of the donut on. Again, I'll put a link to these in, in, the, uh, in the thing. Now, it's getting a bit perish, so another reason. They're only like, I don't know, three or four quid each, these things. Uh, maybe five, I can't remember. Um, but uh, another reason to replace it. So I've had it over a year, and it's getting a bit perished. It's been used intensively, taken on and put off many, 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 many times. Um, this says here, four inches 100 millimeters um, which is uh, which is basically the right size for uh, Bailey Brothers is the company um, made in England <laughs> and here's the contents of the tube tools and inner tubes and stuff uh, 
that was a bit of a fix um, when it came loose on Banky Barn. So just a couple of cable ties. But hopefully you can see here the P-clip has actually um, snapped. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the reason for that is that I didn't have this rigidly enough fixed. And so when it kept hitting the um, the chain guard, um, it was it, it was repeatedly stressing it, and then it eventually broke the P-clip. So I'm gonna replace all the P-clips on this one, um, and probably replace them all on the other one as well, just because I bought a packet of them. I've got this bit of tape here, just for me to be able to see if it's um, colliding at all, still colliding at all with the, um, with the, with the chain guard. And I can feel there's a bit of a, bit of a sort of um, flat spot worn out of the bottom of the tube but I'll show you that later. Um, this is a little spacer again I'll show you later bolt nut the normal things. So that's what the p-clip should look like more or less if it's not snapped. This one's a bit bent but that's fine. One of the things that I forgot to mention in my kit rundown was um, under the seat, I don't keep much under the seat, just a couple of, couple of uh, bungee cords, but I do keep a full circuit diagram, um, laminated, so that it doesn't matter if it gets wet. And obviously I've written a few important details, I don't know, what have we got, tyre pressures, uh, spark gap, although it's relevant because um, I'm using different kind of spark plug, um, just a few, few bits of details, uh, things like valve clearances and stuff. Right, so that just lives in there. Okay, so this is the pipe. These are the one, uh, it'll say on here, one, 100 to 112, I think, um, something like that, um, size pipe clips, something to 112 anyway. And then I've got a larger one, which is the 113, um, which is gonna hopefully, I have to push that cap out a little bit, but it, hopefully it'll fit perfectly. I measured it if I've measured it right yeah it does if it's perfectly on there or but I'm gonna actually put it into that groove there so that it's um so that it can't slip and that'll be an extra one that will just mount onto that point there and hopefully will um, prevent prevent the thing sliding down and bouncing on the bottom of there and if you look at the underside of this I haven't looked at this myself yet but I think we're gonna find yeah you can see here it's it's um it's hit the chain guard so many times it's taken a great big notch out there. I mean, it's not a problem, but I don't want that to continue to be the case. Um, so these are just uh, sewage downpipes from, um, from uh, what do you call that place, Screwfix. And um, this is just the end cap. Flow, flow, flow Plast is the name of the, uh, name of the company that supplied them to Screwfix. I'll get that off later. I can't get that off at the moment. Um, but hopefully you can see what I use it for. So these are the things that you need in order to be able to do it. You need um, your downpipe, end cap, inspection cap, um, two of the one, uh, whatever these are, one, 109 to 112 I think. I think something like that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to read. One, 10 something to maybe 108 to 112 um, the bigger one the 113 to 120 or whatever it is um, so that's the pipe clips um, four p clips um, so these look like m6 by 45 i've made these uh what are they they about 30 millimeter maybe 25 millimeter spacers um some m6 nuts and uh, about four more bolts i'm just using what i've got around in the garage but you might have to go out and buy them if you haven't got them knocking about Okay, so the first job is to remove, remove this um, welded nut. So I just take the, take the rubber off and I get to do a Colin Furs moment. Hey! Last time I did that, I did it by sawing it off. It took a lot longer. <laughs> I'll just smooth it off a bit. Don't do 
this at home, guys. A bottle of, uh, <laughs> of uh, transient fuel, alcohol, basically, right next to it. Put that out of the way, I think. These uh, pipe clamps, pipe clips, do have a thread in them, but it didn't strike me as very strong. So I'm, I'm tending to put a nut on the back as well. Yeah, so with that spacer there, that should, that should connect through. Um, obviously I haven't got the pipe in yet, um, and I've had to give that a bit of a twist at the top. I've slid that right up to here. Now before I had it mounted on the rack, but this time I've got it mounted on the pannier rack. Um, I, think, I think this is gonna be better. on and in a much better place than I had it before I think but I think here is much better um, and I'm probably gonna have to wiggle and adjust it a little bit obviously this is not fully secured yet and I need to get it as far away from the wheel as possible but we'll see what we can manage I think this is I think this is going to be a bit better Okay, so I've loosely put everything on. Um, I had to put this spacer back in here um, because I realized that the reason those two spacers are there is so that the pannier can fit on without, um, without bumping into it. So those two spacers, which I made 30 millimeters long, just are enough. I mean, you could probably, probably get away with slightly more. Um, and I've moved, I've moved this mounting point onto here instead of here, which it seems much better. Um, the other one you can see it's on it's on the rack instead of the pannier rack um, it's mounted higher up and um, we'll see we'll see but it seems to work better um, we've got another p-clip here there's no p-clip around the other side you can see that um, this is my concern um, that's a bit close to the tire so um, I'm thinking that when when I hit a bump the tire might scrape on that and it'll gouge holes out of the tire so obviously I don't want that so I'm gonna have a, a think about what I can do to move that around um, so it's all loosely fitted at the moment and I'm going to wiggle it into the best possible position that I can where everything still works the pannier fits on I've still got enough room to get things in and out here because obviously you've got to get things around a corner here so it can't be too close to the back of the rack um, if you look at this one it, it does it, it is in front of it but as long as you've got a good whatever that is three inch or something um, you've got room so it needs to move forward and I'll play around with it Okay, all done. Much more rigid now. Um, 30, 30 millimeter spacers there and there to keep it away from the pannier. Nuts on the other side of every single fixing point. I think I missed this one because I couldn't get a nut on there. Um, and um, with three instead of two. Now I had to cut off maybe 25 millimeters off here. Now the tube is about 450, just a little bit over actually, but 450 is a good length, I think. So um, if you want to copy that, it should be fun. <laughs> it takes a bit of faffing around, um, just messing about. 